Welcome to Papa's Workshop. Well, as promised, I'm doing a video today on engraving on a ceramic tile. And this is the project. I wanted to take that same compass rose and do a very detailed engraving just to show how well this looks. This is fantastic. The detail in this is amazing. It is very, very easy to do. And today I wanna to show you exactly step by step how to be able to do this and get the same results. So let's get started. The first step in this process, of course, is to have the ceramic tile, and you can pick those up at any of the big box stores. Now I'm using denatured alcohol to be able to clean the ceramic tile. So I just take a paper towel, put a little bit onto that, and I am going to clean the tile really well. I want to be able to get any dust, oils, grease, anything that might be on the ceramic tile, I want to be able to remove it. That way the paint is going to be able to stick very well to this ceramic surface. So I'm going to set this aside and let it dry just for a few minutes. The denatured alcohol does dry very quickly. The paint that I'm choosing to use today is the Rust-Oleum Gloss White, and this is the Ultra Cover Paint and Primer. I've taken this outside now to be able to spray this paint. And what you want is a very even coat. You don't want to have any spots that are missing. So I go first in one direction, then I'll rotate 90 degrees and go the other direction. And that's it. Now make sure you let this dry completely before you start the engraving. I let it sit overnight. Now mark the center of this right with a pencil so I know exactly where the center of this tile is. Because as you know, I use the center point as my point of origin for my X, Y, zero. And with that now marked on the tile, the next thing I wanna do is go ahead and get the Z height established. Now this is a 30 millimeter uh, cylinder that is used to be able to set the um, Z height. Once that is done, I'm gonna go ahead and move it over and set the X, Y, zero right on that center point that little small pencil line that I made right in the center of the tile. I turn on the laser first and then I open up Lightburn. That way Lightburn recognizes the machine instantly and it goes into that ready status. Now for this I'm using a compass rose that I used to engrave the glass. Same exact file. The only change that I'm going to make is I'm going to go ahead and delete the find your way because all I want to be able to do is have the compass rose for this tile. When I used this file for the glass engraving, it was two inches by two inches. Well, this tile is about a four inch by four inch. I want to make this larger. So with that locked, I can just type in the three inches and it automatically changes the bottom number. Now let's go ahead and set the XY zero. So I click on the move file hit the fire button and that turns on the laser so I can actually adjust this and have it dead center in the tile. The next thing that I want to do is change the speed. I want to reduce this down to 20 inches per minute. 20 inches per minute is going to make it where it will take just a little bit longer to be able to cause to burn. And I'm turning off the air assist. Now this is based on some experiments that I did with another piece of the glass where I spray painted it and did not get the results that I wanted. So today I'm slowing it down and I'm turning off the air assist. Some people have asked about the millimeters. Well, to be able to convert this from the 20 inches per minute, now that's 508 millimeters per inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch this back to my inches, click OK and Time to grab the glasses, and let's go ahead and start this. I want to zoom in real close, and I want you to pay particular attention to the bottom half of the S. For some reason, it is very light, and I have no idea why. The rest of this engraving is coming out absolutely beautiful. Now, once this is done, I'm going to show you how we're going to go back and fix this problem. Now, I want to zoom in real close so you can see it. It is significantly lighter than the top half of the S and the rest of the engraving that's being done. 
I wish I had an explanation that I could share with you, but I truly do not know what caused that problem. But I do have a way to be able to fix it, and once the engraving is completed, I'm going to show you how we're going to fix this problem. Okay, the engraving now is finished, and I want to let you see this one more time. That S just looks horrible. So what I'm going to do, without moving anything at all, is come back up and hit the Start button. It's going to go ahead and begin a second pass. Now if we zoom in real close, it is doing an excellent job. The S on that bottom half is looking like the rest of the S, and that's good. I'm going to go ahead and let that second pass continue for the entire letter, and then I'm going to go ahead and just stop it. I'm not going to have the whole th engraving repeated. So by hitting the stop button, that will complete my second pass. The S now looks fantastic. And by comparing the S with the rest of the engraving, it looks perfect. And that's what I was hoping to be able to do. Now, let's go ahead and do the last step and clean this. I'm taking a steel wool and I'm taking the lacquer thinner and I'm literally scrubbing this tile to remove the paint. The white paint, if you notice, looked very good, but you want that gone. You want the white paint completely removed and you want that uh, natural tile to be able to show through. You're not going to hurt the ceramic tile by scrubbing it with steel wool and this will remove all of the paint. The last step of this is just take a clean paper towel and with the lacquer thinner on it, I'm going to wash off the ceramic tile. This will remove any remaining residue that is left from the paint and it will clean the tile completely. Now this is permanent. You can scratch this. It is actually etched into the tile itself. This is not going to come off. So you can actually use this as a coaster for everyday use and it's not going to hurt it. You could also literally create any type of pattern and if you're remodeling a bathroom or a kitchen, you could use this process to have some decorative tiles added to the decor. What a wonderful idea and opportunity to really make a one-of-a-kind project. Thank you for watching today. I think this was an absolutely fantastic project. And if you agree with me, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And by all means, subscribe by hitting that little button right down below and the little bell notification next to it. So you won't miss out on the videos. I can think of a lot of Christmas ideas using this technique. And I can't wait to get started to be able to create the design and start engraving. I want to get an early start on Christmas gifts this year. I also want to take this opportunity to thank all of my Patreon for supporting this channel. Your support goes a long way to be able to make this channel successful, and I really appreciate each and every one of my Patreons. I sincerely hope that you will try this process. It's really quite easy to do, and the results are absolutely amazing. I also want to take this opportunity to thank all of those who are watching this video today and I look forward to seeing each and every one of you in the next video that I do, whatever that may be.